They tried to use it as a stepping stone for a World Cup qualifier they have coming up in November. On the 16th of November, in fact, in Jacksonville, Florida, they'll take on the USA, who we've seen here in nines action over the course of the past two days. So this is step one for the Cook Islands ahead of that big game in Florida in just on a month's time. They get some superb players. You'd like to think that they'd go over there with a lot of confidence off the back of this performance so far in the tournament as the Fijians now come out onto the field. And there is Big Bill. Billy Army kick out, of course, Kevin Nangama, the captain of this team, back from the Super League. It's a, a mix of players from the NRL and also the Fijian domestic competition as well. Semi Balamai there along with Mike Gasivo. This is Mike Gasivo Stadium in so many ways after what he did here for the Eels during 2019. is not quite been at his best, I suppose, as far as chances are concerned. He had limited opportunity in their first game. He had one opportunity, rather, and he scored a try. See what he can offer here in their final game. Can they play the spoilers here for Cook Islands, who've been impressive to this point? Brad Takarangi again not playing today. He's up north at Nathan Pete's wedding, as it turns out, having played a starring role in their win last night over the Tonga Invitational side but unavailable today which certainly hurts them as far as some experience and playmaking Tevin Arona now down this short side he's been one of the real finds of the tournament some speed some skill to go with it as well he's caused plenty of headaches now they chance their arm down the short side and turn it over as Paul Hallberg was coming in field looking for a chance and didn't see the pass coming from Ruben Rennie yeah, not a great play, was it? They'd done everything right up until that point. One thing they have been very good at in the tournament is just completing their sets and applying pressure off the back of that. Already in this game, the Fijians are on the attack. On the attack through Braden Villiami, who will play it here just outside the 40. Tongue to Army. It goes across to Kikau now, who will play it 28 metres out from the Cook Islands line. Back to the middle once again. Shape this right edge. They may not need it. They were just about away there. Almost getting through was Nanda Tolo. Now a chance. Big tackle there. Staying alive. Going back. Tunga Tamua couldn't get to it. And the Cook Islands pounce on it through Tevin Arona. It's great desperation from Arona. And they come up with nothing there. The Fijians, they look promising. Desperation from the Cook Islands did a good job. One set each to begin this game. Nothing doing as far as points on the board for either team in this first half. Right hand side. Looking forward here through Tepai Moiroa in the starting side for this game. And now a kick from first receiver. Turns the Fijians around. They'll go back a long way here. Bringing it back and high, stepping all the way through the line with nobody in front of him. Running away, Micah Tandruvu will score here. A bonus try as well to make it 5-0 Fiji. Well, what an individual effort for Tandruvu. Turned him around, come off his own line. You mentioned about the high stepping and just went through some defence. Nice left foot step there on Moroa and set sail. Wonderful individual solo effort. Gets the bonus try. He was a sight. Nines football with no fullback back there off the kick return. He was plain sailing and he was anything but on the treadmill there, can't he? Keep going. <laughs> He's getting faster and faster the closer he got to the goalpost. They missed the conversion attempt, would you believe? There's been a spate of missed conversion attempts from right in front here today for whatever reason. So, oh, no. vital two points Tackle here. Two. Oh, an issue for the Cook Islands. Oh, your spot on, though, was some of the, what you would think, easy. Well, they are. They're in front. Plenty of them have been missed. We see an injury to the Cook Islands. Vincent Rennie. Just clutching immediately at the back of that left knee. 
BCL and Tane Milne there realising that there was an issue. It was a sad way to end the World Cup 9. Scotty Payton is out there, trainer in the blue shirt. On top of the situation, but Milton Rennie's day looks done. The way he's hobbling off the field right there with Fiji on top. Quite halfway through this first half. Five points to nil against the Cook Islands. It's a great shame for players getting a chance to show what they can do live on Fox League, quite obviously, but have a good crowd here on a warm Saturday afternoon in October at Bankwest Stadium. Bird, open square, back, hold, go free. The right hand side they go. Ball goes to ground there, and the Fijians come up with it a chance for Viliami Kikau, and then a knock on. That'll be a double knock on. It will stay in the hands of the Fijians. Okay, let's go. No advantage play there for Bill Kikau. That's why we go straight into the play the ball. No scrum. They've been a bit clunky, haven't they, the Cook Islands, with their handling in this. Start of this match. Two movement square back. And Tolo to play it here. 35 meters out. Goes out there through the hands of Chorus out. Kick out. Popping it out the back. Ducking inside. Mike Asiva said, I was coming in, Bill, not staying in. Yeah, it's happened three times in the tournament. He has looked their most likely player out on that left hand edge, creating all sorts of havoc. And every time they've missed the opportunity, it's because Sivo's come back on the inside. They need to hold out. As now they give away a penalty and a good leg up for the Cook Islands to get out of their own end. Could have comfortably led here, Fiji, by quite a few more than the five they do. Back. Back. From their own side of halfway, Cook Islands with the win, can put some real pressure on Samoa. If they can't win, then it comes down to can Tonga beat Samoa by enough points. And at the moment, that would need to be 24 points to overtake them to take top spot in Pool C to advance for a semi-final matchup, a likely one against Australia. Winner of Pool C would take on the winner of Pool A. Here's a Rona. Going up to that right-hand side, they keep it going through. Gelling and now a chance, he'll get there, reaching out. Anthony Gelling puts it down and scores for the Cook Islands, and they are right in this contest. There's great fight back from the Cook Islands, found some space out on this right-hand edge. Anthony Gelling just getting through the Coruscant tackle, some fatigue starting to set in in the later stage of this first half. And if he get, gets a kick here, Oh no, boy oh boy. That's the conversion attempt there in the corner of the screen. Missed comfortably. And it's 5-4. Just over two and a half remaining. But Gelling's been good for the Cook Islands. He has. Okay. One of the real characters of the game. Back underway with Fiji. Billy Army kick out, bringing it forward. Trying to well, the Cook Islands defence into a false sense of security there and then put the foot down that they were waiting for him. Tane Milne out here in this right-hand side doing a bit of ball playing. Nicely done, but it was Braden Villiami who was pretty well handled. Get going here. G will have it back in Cook Islands territory. Levy Levy out of dummy half trying to skip his way through the line there. Numbers left. Jeff Daniela taking him down, and now here is Chance. They look for an option. They didn't find the one they were looking for, and instead, to Cook Islands, who work it away through Sam Mataora. Yeah, they just come up with the wrong option. They got Big Bill Kickow and Mike Asivo over on that left hand edge with all sorts of space. As we see Sivo come up with a big shot on Gelling, was it? Max here. There, mate. Two they need wait. to come up with something back. here. Minute 20 back. left on the clock. Okay. Back. Yeah. Go. Trying to extend this one-point lead. 
just about doing it. It might have been a one-on-one -on -one strip. In fact, it has. Paul Ulberg has come up with it and taken it straight away from Semi Valamai. That's a big play for his team, Ulberg. He's been great in the tournament, wearing the number seven. Fijians, five sets they've had the ball in their hands. They've completed one of them. The lead still five points to four. Here is Ulberg once again fending away and staying alive and bring it almost back to the halfway line. Arona in there at dummy half. It comes back to the middle. Now Arona gets another chance. Oh, there was a chance there on the right edge. Kikau instead tries to keep it alive, does so. Sivo was there pushing up in support, didn't get a chance. Now he might. Here's Kikau and Sivo once again. Are they on the same page? Kikau takes the tackle. 20 seconds remaining. Couple of plays up their sleeve. Two on two down the short oh, side. Boy. Big Micah, a fan. Now he gets going, stepping, keeps it alive. It sits up here for Tevin Arona, and he's away. Who can catch Nagama. him? Kevin, Revan, Kevin Nadgama. Reeled him in and forced him back on the inside. What a finish to the first half. A chance for Sivo. A chance for Arona in the end. It's Fiji who will hang on here and lead this one with nine minutes to go. Five points to four. That's Good to great. see a bit of fancy dress here at the World Cup Nines brought to you by Down Alive on Fox League. And for the boys, I've got no doubt enjoying themselves. And the good news for them is the Marios. There's a lot more for you to come, fellas. <laughs> Luigi will be here somewhere, surely. They generally don't go far without each other. Todd Greenberg casting his eye over on the competition. It's been a great initiative, I think, to get the international version of the Nines format back in action here in October in Sydney. And now Meninga is certainly a big proponent of the fact that there might well be, or he thinks there should be, a world tour with all the nations supplying Nines teams. And we might see a fair bit more of Nines football in the years ahead, let's hope that is the case. Fiji, first chance here in attack in their second half, leading this one five points to four. Cook Islands very much in the running for a place in the semi-finals. If they could advance, a likely semi-final showdown with Australia, no less. But Fiji will have a bit to say about that. In the eight minutes remaining, now Coruscant puts a kick in. Pressure here going back. They'll clean it up through... Sam Mataura was it? Right here. Might have been Brody Tamarua there. It was. And Cook Islands have it to work it away from inside their own 20. Gelling popping a pass there, putting Aaron Terry under pressure. And they work it away through Jean Pua. Jeff Daniela out on that left hand side gets a chance at first receiver. Hands it off and it goes to Ruben Rennie. Course, Vincent Rennie injuring that knee earlier in the game. Kick by Ulberg into space. Daniela chasing through with nobody in front of him. He gets monstered from behind. And a whistle for the changeover. A real scare there for Fiji. That was a great little heads up play. Obviously, with the nine aside, there's no fullback at, in that area. And they put a kick through, a well weighted one. Fiji did well to get back there. And make the tackle, otherwise it would have been a try for sure. Come out to this left-hand side. Plenty of numbers stacked out here. A six on four for Fiji. And Kevin Nangama, he's revving again, Kev. He's away this time. And he'll run 60 metres to score. Chasing hard. Ulberg can't get there. And did he get it down no, inside the bonus zone? I don't know that he did. That's a massive play, Ulberg. I know he doesn't come up. We're stopping the try, but we've seen the in referee for and against Nanguama going through. Did he put his hand up, was? Well, the referee put his hand up to indicate a five-pointer. Let's take a look at it once again, looking over his shoulder. Suddenly realises a bit of pressure there, and no oh, doubt. he got there. He right did get there, and he needed to because Coruscant missed the kick again from in front. There on the edge the we see of the oh, zone. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> my goodness. Oh, yeah, put your hand up. We need Daryl Halligan or somebody who's a drop goal specialist to come here and do a bit of coaching. Any good at field goals, Cos? Oh, I think I... 
you'd back yourself in. I'd back you? myself in from right in front. Yeah. A couple of important misses. Two bonus zone tries for Fiji. Their lead, though, is only six, not ten. And now a strip, two on one in the tackle. Well, it leaves the door ajar, doesn't it? Obviously six, they get a bonus try and kick the goal. They're in front by one, and they're under the, under pressure here now, the Fijians. They give away a penalty, one on one strip. Here come the Cook Islanders. Let's see if they can maintain that composure that Tony Eero was talking about, saying Fiji will be pushing it. They'll make mistakes. They didn't make a mistake with Kevin Nangama racing away. They get their chance here, though. Just over five minutes remaining. Still a stack of time for the Cook Islands. Goes out to Tevin Arona. Now, Matora charging hard. Offloads it. Arona is there. He was thinking about five points. And if he's been held up, they've given the try. My goodness, he took a chance there. He was thinking about the five, knowing a conversion would put them in front. You're spot on, a wonderful play here. Nice barnstorming run, a little right hand offload, and you're spot on. He was trying to get back to that bonus zone for the five points. Do they kick the goal? Not a bad looking no. attempt away to the right hand side, though it stays at 10 points to eight. Boy, but he took a chance there. He's quick. He's been great, Arona. He's been their best by some stretch. A bit of dummy half in the first half now out there with a bit more freedom and then Gelling goes up off the short restart and here come the Cook Islands to get them. That was an excellent restart. Gelling got up above them. Here they come. Tamarua working it forward. We'll play it here just outside the 20. Marantura at dummy half through the hands of Wayton Moroa. Stopped there by Viliami Kikau. Now a chance down the short side. Ruben Rennie lost the ball as he was tackled there a couple of metres short. Well, he scored a try already in similar fashion in this tournament from that position. Fancied himself again. Wonderful try-saving tackle here. As now the Fijians look to spread. Lead by two. Three and a half remaining. The Cook Islands know they just have to find a way to win this game to put the pressure on Samoa. Here is Kikau holding it like it's a grape. Still there, now in the left hand. He pops it over the top. Chance on that far right side. And they'll go to ground to lower, lower. They just play with a freedom, don't they? Kick out on his own 20 metre line, holding it like a tennis ball, both hands. Only leading the match by two. There's been a one-on-one -on -one strip here. The Cook Islands have got it again. Allberg coming up with it. There is a turnover. Viliami getting his pockets picked right there by Allberg. And the Cook Islands have it 25 metres out. Just over two and a half minutes remaining in this second half. Ruben Rennie. He just takes a hit up to give them a bit of shape on this next play. Arona. At first, we'll see the plenty of width here as well. Tamarua showing it, staying alive, going close, scoring! He's in, and the Cook Islands have the lead. Brody Tamarua gets across the line. Inside, two minutes remaining now. Well, here's a one-on-one -on -one strip that they got him the ball back. This pass here from Arona, out in front. And Tamarua, he's had a great game. Comes up with what could be their ticket through. What an effort from close range. You better believe it, baby. 12 points to 10. The conversion, no good once again. Can the Cook Islands hang on? Interestingly, they go short for Gelling once again. Did he get a hand to this one? It looked like he did. It will be a knock-on against the Cook Islands. And Fiji will get a full set of five tackles here. To try and go well, kick 70 metres. Kick out and Sivo are their men. Coruscant, kick out, kick out and Sivo need to come up with something here. They've got a minute remaining. Here is Mike Acevo just saying to Bill, go forward and give us something in the middle of the field and I'll That's be wrapping around somewhere. 
Chance on this right-hand side. Nanda Tolo goes across the halfway line. Stop there only just. You jump out from dummy half. Who's pushing up in support? They look a bit tired Here with VG and suddenly side. Nangama gets to dummy half now. It's all on the left edge. Coruscant, kick out there back on the inside. He had Sivo on his outside. He takes the tackle and they're down to their last throw of the dice. They come now to Coruscant once again. Sivo here. Two on two. He steps straight past the defender. Still going. Doubles back around. Looking Trouble. for something. Pops it out the back. Kick out under pressure. Arona got to him but couldn't stop it. Nangama, now they've got plenty of numbers, but they're all in front of the ball. Nangama coughs it up, and the Cook Islands win again and are still very much a big, big chance to make the semi finals. Well, superb defense there, their willingness to keep turning up. The Cook Islands. Well done. What a win. The try by Brody Tamarua gives the Cook Islands two wins from their three games, and it sends it up for Samoa and Tonga. At full time, the Cook Islands, why wouldn't you be dancing? They've beaten Fiji 12 points to 10.